From CBS News headquarters in New York, this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite and Eric Severide in Washington, Fred Graham in Washington, Bruce Dunning in Saigon, Peter Collins in Saigon, Bob Schieffer in San Diego, and Richard Wagner in San Francisco. Good evening. President Ford said today that in spite of Congress's limitations on the use of troops overseas, he believes he has the authority to call on the military to protect any evacuation of the 7,000 Americans in South Vietnam. And the president said he is ready to use that authority if necessary. Mr. Ford commented at a news conference in San Diego, and Bob Schieffer reports. The president was cheered by a crowd outside the convention center where the news conference was held, but he was also booed loudly by several groups of protesters. He had not mentioned the war since coming to California during the weekend, but today most of his news conference was devoted to Indochina. I have directed that money from a $2 million special foreign aid children's fund be made available to fly 2,000 South Vietnamese orphans to the United States as soon as possible. I have directed that C-5A aircraft and other aircraft especially equipped to care for these orphans during the flight be sent to Saigon. I expect these flights to begin within the next 36 to 48 hours. How and why did the uh, U.S. miscalculate the intentions of uh, uh, the uh, will of the South Vietnamese to resist? I don't believe that we miscalculated the will of the South Vietnamese to carry on their fight for their own freedom. Uh, there were several situations that developed that I think got beyond the control of the Vietnamese people. Uh, the unilateral uh, military decision to withdraw uh, created a chaotic situation in Vietnam that appears to have brought about uh, tremendous disorganization. The question about the president's authority to use troops for an evacuation involves the War Powers Act passed by Congress in 1973 over the veto of then-President Nixon. That law says a president may use troops uh, if there has been an attack on the United States, its territories or possessions, or its armed forces. The law says nothing, though, about the protection of Americans overseas, neither authorizing the use of troops nor expressly forbidding it. Spokesmen in the offices of some senators who back the law concede that this is a murky area. Ike Pappas reports from the Pentagon that President Ford's order to evacuate some 2,000 orphans from South Vietnam caught Pentagon logistics experts by surprise. Pentagon officials explained that the cargo planes Mr. Ford wants to use would have to be refitted in Saigon to carry passengers, and that, they say, would take time. 